Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace Lexus IS taillights. The years of the models that it works for is gonna be right up here on the screen. So if you guys have a car between one of these years, this is for you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the one on the car. And I'm gonna show you how to replace the one on the trunk lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the trunk lid one, since it's a lot easier. So we're gonna do is open this up. And on the inside, there's gonna be a bunch of little tabs, which I've already pulled off pretty much all but one of them. Um, there are a ton of them. You can see all the little tiny holes, but these are like traditional Christmas tree tabs and I actually have a little pry tool, which is super easy, but you can actually get right up underneath the edge or right up in the middle. You can lift it up and then you can kind of get back behind it and it just pops right out. Well, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's just a basic Christmas tree tab. You just push it in and pull it out. So I'm going to go do the install. Just pop those straight back in. So once you get all those out, we're just going to grab the edge and just start kind of pulling the carpet down. It does kind of have to go around this little handle right there. So we go ahead and pull it out from all the other spaces. Just like that, it's removed. And it exposes where the taillights are. All right, so when it comes to removing the taillights, we're actually going to start with the one on the rear deck lid. So we're just going to go ahead and open that up. And now that we have the carpet out, we're just going to go ahead and go up under here. So what we're going to notice is these wires, there's going to be this little connection. There's actually a 10 millimeter nut right there, one right there. And then there's two plastic ones right here on the end. Those four are going to be the ones to take this off. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off all four of those. And then there's this little connection right here, which is going to push in this little tab, which looks like a little two prong fork. You're going to push it straight down and then you're going to be able to unplug that. All right, so once you've taken off all four of the nuts and unplugged the light, you can go ahead and I usually kind of push up on the little, little screws that the nuts are screwed onto. And then it pops right up and out. There we go. And just like that, the tail light is removed. All right, guys, so next we're going to work on the light that's kind of like on the body itself because we already did the trunk lid one. So now to remove this one, what we're gonna have to do is, I like to do this part first just because it's a little convenient, but we're gonna have to take this off, which just is a simple screw off. And then we're gonna have a couple tabs we're gonna have to take out. There's gonna be like one right here, one right here, and just use a little pry tool, pop on behind here. It just pops these little Christmas tree tabs right out, just like up above. But we're just gonna go ahead and pop these out. And then there's going to be one down here on this plastic trim. Got to remove this one because this carpet does go back here behind this. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that out. And now we can move the carpet back and make sure you pull it out from behind that. You're going to have to pull it down a little bit, but you can see the wire right there. You can follow it down and right back here behind this is actually a plug and to undo this plug, right down here in the top there's gonna be this little hole if you look down in there you'll see a little tab and you're just gonna go down there and lift open the tab once you lift up the tab you'll be able to unplug the light just like that and once you unplug this you can just kind of leave it sitting aside leave it loose because we're gonna to have to pull it through here once you take the light out but to get the light out there's gonna be this little cover right here you can reach it on the top and you want to pull it out. You want to be careful because there are tabs. You don't want to break those off. So try to pull it straight out. There's the little tabs on the backside. And there's going to be two screws right there, which you're going to take out with the 10 millimeter. And once you take those out, there's actually no other ones you have to take out. So to get the light out, you're going to have to get a good grip on it. Because on this underside, there's two places where it actually hooks in. There's another one kind of back behind here and then another one up in here. The whole thing has to slide straight, like straight back because a lot of these are directional. So don't swing it off to the side or anything. Just pull it straight back. 
All right, so now that we're ready to pull the light out, um, you're just gonna go ahead and get a good grip on it. I try to get my fingers under the edge of here, and then there's just two little pieces that stick up and kind of get my thumb, kind of a little bit of a grip on those, and I try to grab the other, like the back side with my other hand, where it's gonna pull it straight back, and it should pop right out. And wiggle a little bit. All right, there we go. So then once you pull it out, you're gonna have to, there's gonna be like a little rubber plug up in here, where the wires are at. So you're gonna pull the little plug out from the body, and then you're gonna pull the wires straight out through, and that's why we unplugged it in the first place. But you can actually see right here that there's this little little spot where this little round white uh, little circle thing, that's actually where that slides into, and then there's this little piece that sticks out, and that slides into this hole right here in the back, and then there's two more here on the bottom, and that's what it says directionally, you gotta pull it straight out because all of these are all directional but just like that the tail light is out and if you are looking to like replace the bulb and whatnot you can actually go right here you just turn this just a little bit and that pops right out and there's the bulb you can just swap that out if you need to but if you guys like this video definitely go down and hit the like button down below and let me know if this helped you guys out because i do like to hear some feedback but if you guys want to see more videos with my lexus and replacing other parts definitely go down and hit the subscribe button there's gonna be a lot more to come with door handles, mirrors, uh, the spoiler, the headlights, all that kind of stuff, daytime running lights, uh, removing the bumper, like I said, like everything, since I'm doing a full wrap on this car, and have all these how-tos, so definitely like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.